in a world where all food is made from corn. In a time when people are forced to live in climate-controlled condos, with the threat of mass species extinction looming, one woman stands up for freedom, futuristic fashion, and general ass-kicking. She's Starship Captain Captain! Fresh from touring the galaxy, she's a power cell surging, black hole surfing astrophysicist who's about to uncover a secret so big, she's gonna start the Big Bang all over again. She's Starship Captain! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Missy Peters, and uh, welcome to 2012. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you got the memo. <clears throat> Silver jumpsuits, it's the future. I don't see anyone wearing one except for me. It's very awkward. Um, I, I'm in town, I'm from Victoria. Woo! And, yeah! and I'm in town because I'm, I'm doing a fringe show. I don't know if you guys know about the fringe over on Granville Island. And it's called, Where's Your Flying Car? And it, it's spoken word about why I'm a science fiction geek. I don't know if you can tell from the outfit. Um, because I am a little bit of a science fiction geek. But, I can tell from the phone. Oh. But don't, don't misinterpret the inner geek in me, right? Because I never played Dungeons and Dragons. I've never been to a Trekkie convention. I, I have no idea how to program my computer to say, <clears throat> Hello, Dave. And I don't entirely understand the difference between a particle and a wave. I just eat, sleep, breathe, and read science fiction. Anyone with me? Yeah. yeah. I read fiction based on science. The only God we have left. The only story that changes with the telling. We split the Adam into Eve in the beginning. I read the history of the future. Every author of Cassandra predicting the unimagined marvels. Ooh, science fiction predictions come true. Men on the moon, manned submarines, robots and computers that think. It's the science of the new, of the newer than new. It's the science of something that hasn't even been thought through. Yet. But it will be. You'll see. When your kids are sporting tails instead of tattoos, when all the food you eat is copyrighted, when your cell phone is an implant, when you think that you have lost your humanity, go deeper and you'll see that all these things are just expressions of what it is to be. Because there are others like me out there thinking and dreaming of the way the world could be, and I believe we should travel the stars. I believe we should colonize Mars. I dream of what weightlessness would feel like. I want to look down on my own planet and then look beyond. Because it's what's real that draws me to science fiction. It's not the gadgets and robots and chrome cities. It's the fact that no matter how far we go in time and space, we are still human. We still live and love and strive and die. We still try and find an answer to the question, why? And all the gadgets and robots and chrome cities is us. Is us telling old stories, but painting new pictures of the way the world could be. So I am a bit of a science fiction geek, but I say the meek might inherit the earth, but us dreamers, we're gonna inherit the stars. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks.